Okay guys, welcome to another episode of Chief Knows. Okay, so what's gonna happen today is our topic is gonna be about stick versus knife, okay? A lot of people say that the stick is better, a lot of people say the knife is better. So I'm gonna give my take on what I think is better, whether it's a stick or the knife. So first, let's explore the stick. The advantages of the stick is the distance, okay? I can hit him, I don't have to close the distance, okay? Now, as long as I have the distance, I can hit the guy and the guy cannot hit me. So that's pretty good, right? Now, the only problem is if I hit him, there's no guarantee I will stop him, okay? Now, if I have a knife, if I get hit in a kill point, that's it. All it takes is one. So a lot of people will just say, the knife is coming, oh, just try to do this, and then you'll be able to, you know, I'll be able to knock him out. Again, there's still no guarantee. But the guarantee is, if you get hit in a kill point with a knife, you're dead, okay? So let's explore that first. Okay, now let's bring in Coach Mike. Coach Mike, let's go. All right, so Coach Mike has headgear. He's got a practice knife and a practice stick, okay? So Again, just to show you guys, even if he has his knife, he has no distance to, to stab me, he's there, but I can hit him, he can't hit me, okay? Now, the problem is, even if I hit him, there's no guarantee that he'll get knocked out or I can stop him, okay? That's, there's no guarantee, regardless of who you are, okay? But there's a guarantee that if he stabs me in a kill point, I'm dead, okay? So, I guess you guys are beginning to understand why or what my preference is, it's always the knife, not the stick. Okay, now, let's do this first, okay? So, let's say for example, we're here, okay? Coach Mike steps in, tries to attack me, there. That kind of thing, okay? So, from here, Coach Mike tries to attack me. Okay, so I'm there right away. Now, if you notice, I whacked him right away. We hit him, but again, there's no guarantee, okay? This is what might happen, okay? Let's say I, I go in, I hit him, boom, that, that's what's good. Okay, now, people will say, well, you know, that means you don't know the footstep, you don't have no footwork or whatever, okay? Even if you have footwork and the guy just runs at you, if you're hitting this way, boom, you can do all of the combinations. Go coach Mike, again. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, I'll always get hit. Okay? So don't think that this will save you, all right? Now, again, there's no guarantee with a stick. There's a guarantee with a knife that thing pokes you, that's it, okay? So, a lot of other people will say, well, maybe if he's here, just don't move Coach Mike. Maybe you should hit his hand, hit his hand, hit his hand, okay? But what happens if he puts the other arm up? Yeah, he accepts it, then goes in. There, okay? He knows what to do. So, guys, be very, very careful when you have a knife, okay? Against a knife, even with a stick, the knife is very, very dangerous. So. A lot of people will say, well, maybe, okay, come, come in, okay, of course, I sidestepped him, there, 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 that kind of thing, but look, he's following me the whole time, okay? Even if I have all the good strikes and everything, all it takes for him is to get one in and that's it, all right? So, when you hit with a stick, can I borrow a okay, Coach Mike, can I get a stick, please? There we go, thank you. When I hit with a stick, Unless I'm hitting, you know, the bone, okay? A lot of people can take this, a lot of people can take this, and a lot of people I've seen can take that, okay? There's no guarantee, all right? So, if I was to use a stick against a knife, what I would do is I would hit and then get away. <laughs> I would run, okay? I would hit, hit, then run, 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 run away, okay? I'm not gonna stand here, Trying to go, oh, oh, that kind of thing. No. Okay? I would always create distance, distance, distance. He moves one inch, I move 10 inches. Okay? I'm not gonna stay here, go, yeah, okay, go. We're gonna... That's always gonna happen. Always. Okay? If you don't believe me, try it. Okay? Make sure you have a good friend that's gonna be able to take all the blows. Tell him or make a bet with him. Just say, okay, I'm gonna try to hit you with a stick. Okay, all you have to do is poke me once and that's it, all right? This guy always, always win, okay? Especially if the guy comes in with his hand up or does this, okay? If Coach Mike does this coming in this way, see it? How can I stop that? 
Okay, need close the distance. Okay. Another one. People might say, oh, hit the leg. Okay? Hit the leg, so don't move, Coach Mike. Huh? So I hit the leg, boom, and then I still get hit. Okay? So there's a lot of there's a lot of things in Filipino martial arts that are good. A lot of stuff that's just utter bullshit, okay? That'll get you killed. So I wanna Make sure that everybody sees both the good and the bad, okay? Now, I do these videos to make sure everybody knows how to survive on the, in the street, okay? Nothing else, okay? I'm not putting down or talking about any other system, okay? I love Filipino martial arts, been doing that since I was nine years old. Even to this day, I'm still a student, okay? Regardless of whatever instructorship I've gotten, I'm still a student, I'm always learning. If you guys have any techniques or videos that can contradict what I'm saying, please do share with me, okay? Because I'd love to learn and love to see it also myself. Anyway, thank you guys for joining us in Chief Knows. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys. Keep the fight.